Hey guys, Corey here. Today we're talking about Dr. Mushtaba. Where did he go? Where are all his accounts? Did he get canceled? You're gonna find out all about this scandal and more in this video. Now you might be asking yourself, Corey, why in the heck are you even covering this? And the answer is really simple because it's pretty interesting, all right? This guy has owned the top of the leaderboards for as long as I can remember in Clash of Clans. And look, if you guys just look down here, there is no more Dr. Mishchabas anywhere here up here in the global leaderboards, all right? They're just gone. So where did he go? All right, and the, the deal is, yeah, he got a bunch of his accounts banned probably several times, but uh, that's not why he's gone. The real reason that he's gone is because name changes on a ton of those accounts. He basically just took 99% of his accounts, changed the name over to Stephanie, and so there you're gonna see Stephanie, 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 Stephanie. All right, now, they are different people, all right? They definitely are. I actually researched this topic quite a bit. They are different people, however, just because an account has Stephanie name on it does not mean she's the one playing that account. He very well might be playing all these accounts up here or several of the Stephanies. So a um, lot of stuff to go over in this video. There's been a ton of accusations, bunch of them substantiated, bunch of them obvious. Other ones that came up in my last YouTube video in comments that I had never even heard of before. This is an absolutely insane insane thing i'm gonna do my best to cover all the facets of it and all the insanity in this video first of all let's take a look at last month's top of the world leaderboard in here we count one two three four five six stephanie accounts out of the top 10 how many of those were stephanie and how many of those were played by dr mushtaba i don't know we're not gonna know only they know but six out of the last 10 on last month's leaderboard so it, actually at the end of this video i'm gonna link into my last Last video covering this covering the top four reasons why they were banned by supercell they did have a ton of their accounts banned i don't know around three weeks ago so i made a video covering that so if you want more info on on all that stuff then then make sure to click on that video at the end of this one but for now i want to compare this month's leaderboards globally to last month's we saw six out of the top 10 where stephanie accounts and right now we're sitting at one two three four out of the top 10 are currently stephanie and or dr m accounts so uh we're seeing less of them up there and i believe that is due to the ghosting fix uh but more info about that in the other video that i'm gonna link at the end of this one now since i posted that last video i had a ton of comments on it that really gave me a lot of new information that i hadn't even heard of before but one thing's for sure this is insane all right dr mishtaba guy and 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 stephanie um have the goal of just owning the top of leaderboards in clash of clans that is pretty much their purpose in clash of clans and and that is you know shown by continuing to own the top spot for months and months and one thing that is without a doubt is that they have spent an absolutely insane amount of money on this game all right i'm talking about at the very least hundreds of thousands of dollars um i would not be shocked to hear that it had been as much as a half a million or possibly even more us dollars on clash of clans because between the two of them they've got at least a hundred accounts i mean all the time they're getting accounts banned they're running other accounts i mean at least a hundred that's a very conservative estimate so massive massive amounts of money being spent on this game it's just absolutely it's mind-boggling all right a lot of people are gonna you know talk trash about that for me uh you know it's their money it's not mine who am i to judge them what they spend their money on would i spend that money that way no but i'm not them you know what i mean you get guys to gather three four or five different houses in different areas uh you know that's their goal that's what they do not a lot of people talk trash about them for that you got money you can do whatever you want with it so w whatever i'm not judging them on what they choose to spend their money on now for me i'm a fair play guy i like the fair play war scene and you know accurate measure of your skills against another person's with no inherent advantage by cheating so i definitely don't approve of the methods used by these guys to get in this position but then again fair plays obviously not their goal that's not their founding principle um that they game upon all right their 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 principle is owning the leaderboards quite obviously because that's what they have done um so there you go difference in values can account for some of that for sure 
one thing is for sure, you're not going to see these guys in the ESL tournaments anytime soon uh, because you have to have your account scanned to get into that. You have to be clean accounts, any terms of service violations, any sort of modding, anything like that, and your account is gone. If you're going to participate in the ESL tournament, tournament you're getting scanned so i don't think we're going to be seeing these guys in those tournaments anytime soon which is a good thing all right if you're going to be doing i don't know questionable stuff uh at least stay out of tournaments that are you know supposed to be for fair play people to me personally i don't really care about the top of legends leaderboards There's a lot of other people that seem to care about that not me i know the most accurate measure of abilities is fair play wars Another insane thing that I learned from the comment section, another accusation, if you will, is that instead of actually owning all those accounts, that they were just paying people to change the name on their accounts to Dr. Mushtaba and then later to Stephanie. Um, that's an accusation that they have denied, saying that they do play all their accounts. Um, but at the same time, they've also mentioned casually playing on other people's IDs, that sort of thing. So, you know, account sharing definitely going on, no doubt about that. And account purchasing, absolutely. I mean, you're just not going to be able to fully max that many accounts as one or two different human beings. It's just there's literally not enough time, not enough time. That's not even possible. So account purchasing for sure going on there, uh, which also, again, against terms of service. So Supercell can scan you at any time, find that out, and they will ban that account forever. But as far as the accusation of paying people to change their names to Dr. Mishchava or Stephanie, um, that would probably actually be the easiest way for them to go about owning the top of the leaderboards because, I mean, to fully gem an account after Town Hall 13 came out, I would imagine that would cost at least one or two thousand dollars just to immediately gem it completely you're having to, you're not looting that fast so you're gemming the resources you're gemming the finish time um so yeah you're looking at a substantial amount of money to fully max an account without a doubt um and it was alleged that they were paying one thousand five hundred dollars for top players more on that in a minute to change their account names to dr mushtaba and stephanie so they don't have to do all the work of of pushing all those accounts, but they still end up towards the top of the leaderboards. Now, coming back to the top players, and the reason that I put those in parentheses is because I, I, as I've been researching this, because it's crazy and it's interesting, as I've been researching this, I was really surprised to hear that a guy was making videos again that quit making videos ages ago. I don't think he had a choice in the matter, and that guy is Clash with Ed. Now, several years back, um, he was making videos, he was growing uh, for a clan called in the dark a modding clan aka a cheating clan so basically they used mods and stuff to cheat in the game uh, as a result they could basically practice on a base unlimited times before they actually had to hit it in war that all came crashing down because basically the whole clan got banned for modding all right and at the same time clash with heads youtube channel just disappeared and it was gone for like I don't know, two years, three years, and all of a sudden, I don't know if the, the ban on his YouTube channel, the time limit was up, and so it came back up, but all of a sudden, he's he's back making videos, um, but, you know, everybody in the community knows that he was making videos for a cheating clan, obviously, a guy that has no problem cheating whatsoever, and then when he came back, he was in a clan with Dr. Mushtaba and Stephanie making videos about them, so we got a cheater who's making videos for a cheating clan who's now hanging out with Dr. Mushtaba and Stephanie, so... There you go. I mean, you know, you might say, Corey, that doesn't prove anything. Uh, that's, you know, that's unfair to say guilt by association. But, you know, uh, we found over the years that cheaters tend to hang out with other cheaters inside Clash of Clans, which is why in in Champions War League, just being in a clan uh, inside of the wrong clan, a clan that's known to cheat with che other cheaters and stuff can literally get you banned from the Champions War League because we know from experience that if you're hanging out with a bunch of cheaters, it's very likely that you are also a cheater. So definitely not fair play standards from Dr. Mushtaba and Stephanie. No doubt in my mind about that. And honestly, the association with Clash with Ed was just an extra already on top of knowing that these guys were not fair play. Now, as far as paying other people to change their names on their accounts, or at the very least to play their accounts, there's no doubt in my mind that that has to be going on. Very simple reason, just the sheer amount of 
hours it would take to play that many accounts. I just counted for the, through the top, just the top 200. I stopped there. There was 30 Stephanie accounts in there, all right? And with eight Legends attacks a day on 30 accounts, you end up with 240 attacks, all right? 240 attacks to do every day just to push the 30 accounts that are in the top 200 currently in global. If we take that 240 attacks, times it by three for three minutes per attack, we end up with 720, at the very least, minutes of attacking going on there. Now we're gonna divide that by 60 to see how many hours we have. All right, because we had 720 minutes divided by 60 is going to end up being 12, 12 hours of attacking just for the 30 accounts that are currently in the top 200. Now, we could split that in half again, thinking that maybe Stephanie's playing half those accounts and Dr. Mushtaba's playing half those accounts. We end up with six hours per person per day of attacking. We could probably knock an extra hour off of each one of those just because not all those attacks are three minutes. But actually, I mean... No, we're not knocking an extra hour off those because that's three minutes for attacks, but then you have to switch between accounts, you have to cook armies, you have to request troops. So I'm gonna say at the very least, three minutes per attack in attack time and prep getting it done. So that's, even if we, we assume that each of them is playing half of those accounts, which, you know, not gonna happen. That's six hours of solid attacking for each one of them every single day. And remember, they can't miss a day, otherwise their account's gonna be falling down. You can't miss Legends attacks. So six hours every single day. Is it possible? Sure, physically possible. Um, is it likely? No, absolutely not. And a quick note for you, any attacks from them that I'm showing in this video just for context, I am not in a clan with those people. I would never join a clan that they were a part of because of the fair play violations. I would never wanna be associated with that. I'm just pulling these attacks off the internet. Now the funny part to me is when the when the in my comment section people were letting me know, oh no, they don't actually own all those accounts, Corey. They're just paying people fifteen hundred dollars a piece. You know, the top players from the cheater clans, fifteen hundred dollars a piece to change their name and push the account to bring their name about, bring more fame inside Clash Clans. Um, the surprising part about that was that they denied that. They denied that, and I don't know why they would deny that if it's true because i don't think that would be against terms of service i don't think terms of service says anything about uh somebody accepting money to change the name on a clash of clans account that you're paying i don't, I don't see how that could possibly be against terms of service basically someone just branding the name on your account to their name so i don't know why they didn't take that it's kind of that that easy exit that easy out that they could have uh in trying to deny you know break in terms of service and all that, which, you know, they definitely denied all the accusations out there. I just don't understand why they would not have tried to take that easy out and said, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Maybe they just didn't want to be harassed by a ton of people wanting to sell the naming rights to their Clash of Clans account for $1,500. But I mean, even that would have been an insane amount of money. I mean, we're talking at least 100 accounts here. At $1,500 a pop, that alone is $150,000. So is the Stephanie and Dr. Mushtaba domination of leaderboards ever gonna stop? Um, um, it already has to a degree, all right? I think a couple of months ago, the eight out of the top 10 were all Stephanie accounts or Dr. Mushtaba accounts. And right now we've only got four sitting in that top 10 spot. So the ghosting fix definitely has helped, but uh, they just have too many resources. We're not gonna see them disappear entirely. This is obviously what they live for inside Clash of Clans is being at the top of the trophy leaderboards for global. So with the amount of resources, the amount of accounts that they're able to acquire and gem, uh, I don't think they're ever going to disappear entirely. But one thing's for sure, the amount of money that these people are spending on the game is mind boggling. Um, absolutely, really hard for most people to grasp, me included absolute insanity there and that's one of the things that makes this such an interesting story because we're talking about ridiculously large sums of money being used to buy the leaderboards inside of one mobile game all right although it is a great game i love the game but literally this is just a game and these folks have spent hundreds and probably hundreds of thousands of dollars just to be at the top of leaderboards consistently inside clash of clans hey whatever it worked they're definitely clash of clans famous 
There's no doubt about that. Um, if they weren't, then videos about them wouldn't get so many views. Um, and it's just an interesting topic. Other than that, are they fair play? No, absolutely not at all. I would never go into a clan with them, never want to be associated with them in any ways, but it is definitely an interesting situation, and that's the only reason that I'm covering it all. On the screen right now, you're gonna see a link to subscribe to the channel right in the middle of the channel right there, and then a link to my other video covering the four reasons why they got so many accounts banned before. And friends, I'll see you in the next video.